that designed the new design. And I know a lot of you have been looking to ask questions about the design and just interact. So I thought this would be a wonderful opportunity if we can kind of respectfully go around the room and ask any questions or get any information that you have. Um, so I think we'll let Kevin start by maybe just talking a little bit about the design and then we could start over here and just work our way around or raise your hand if you have questions so he can address those. So okay. Kevin? Sure, thank you. Um, well, thank, thank you all for being here today. Um, I, uh, I, I know it's a large turnout and I'm not sure if everyone is uh, here to state how much they love the library. Um, but, but I'll lead off and say I, I am uh, uh, thinking this is going to be a wonderful addition to uh, Hastings. Now, um, I'm Kevin Kennedy with HBM Architects. Our firm designs libraries and only libraries, and we design them uh, all over the country. And uh, it's very important that the library uh, works for the community that it's in. Um, and I don't think anyone would, would disagree with that. Um, we that, appreciate you saying yeah, that. Yeah. So uh, that being said, our focus is first and foremost to make sure that the community has a library that provides them the library services that they need. And that doesn't necessarily lead with how it looks on the outside. It's what is the budget? What are the things that uh, the library wants to have in it? to provide those services for everyone, and how do we make the budget that we have work. Uh, that being said, um, this library is going to have sort of all the things that you like in the current library, along with uh, a, some more modern amenities, more technology, um, an enhanced children's space, uh, a large meeting room that can be subdivided and used by the community after hours. Um, health and human services offices, so there'll be you know, social uh, relief aspect in the building. Um, outdoor covered areas for outdoor children's play or outdoor seating. I said covered. I know Florida, I love the sun, but you know, we don't want to have you know, people out, out baking in the sun. So all of these things are components in the new space, along with other things like quiet study rooms, um, some meeting rooms, things like that. Um, so that's, that's really the most important thing for the library, is having something that works for the people that are using it. Now let's talk about the outside. Um, the way we looked at this building was and you know, we were hired to be the architect for the building. Uh, we looked around at what was here, or what is here, and what was here. Uh, and we took our cues from the past, from the, the current uh, of buildings, and thought of the future. So this is a 21st century library. We're in the 21st century, so it's not a futuristic library. It's something for now. Uh, and, we wanted, and we wanted to use materials that related to what's currently happening or has been happening in, the, in, in Hastings um, and some massing as well. Now, we don't have the money to build a 20,000 square foot, two-story library. Um, that's not practical. Uh, so, you know, we have to, to understand that we can't build a mass that we can't afford just because. So, what we did was we looked at things like the old railroad station that was here, um, and there are other buildings uh, currently that have sloped roofs, so we used sloped roofs. We remembered the former community center in terms of its white uh, coloring and its massing of a central entry tower, um, and we designed something like that. The Potato Growers Association building, which I love. Um, has sort of a tripartite setup with a central entrance, again, um, on, the, on the face of this building. Awnings on Main Street, so we have some, some covered areas. The Northern Florida vernacular of sloped roofs, um, low slung. Uh, and so this is what we came up with. Along Main, um, the memory of uh, the, the community center, white brick, 
is the material. Um, the rest of the building is sheathed in um, a wood look aluminum siding. So it's not orange. It doesn't. This this is a printed color that isn't real. It just looks good on our screen, and then it comes out of the printer. And I wish I had seen it before we put it up. It looks orange. It's not. This is. It's a wood grain um, sort of permanent material that isn't going to need to be maintained. Both the brick and the uh, we call this long board is going to sheathe the building and uh, low maintenance. Um, you know, certainly a lot of metal roofs in the area, so we're doing a, a great metal roof um, on the sloping areas. What this does, sort of a, a human scale along Main Street with a higher bay in the back, is lets us drive light into the center of the library where otherwise you know, there wouldn't be. So you can see that there's um, sun that comes in because of the clear story that we pulled back. Um, it wouldn't make sense to build this any higher along Main. We couldn't drive light back in like that, and the sloping roofs are just easier to maintain, and they're not going to clog. So, uh, in a nutshell, that's where this came from. And it wasn't. Uh, someone mentioned they thought this was the same design as the Gulf Village Library, which. We're not the architect, <laughs> so I don't know what that looks like, but it's not. Unless they copied this, but I, I, I don't, I hope they did. That's good information. I appreciate the, you know, kind of expounding upon that. I think, um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time speaking because I want the community to be able to give their opinion. I think some of the concern has been that, you know, we're working on our Hastings Main Street designation for Florida Main Streets. And, you know, the historical aspect of the buildings that we're trying to restore and revitalize and continue to keep that Main Street feeling, um, I think a lot of people were just kind of surprised by the design a little bit because it's a little more modern. Um, and that's kind of the feedback that, we, as an organization, we have been getting. But again, I want the community to have a chance to kind of talk to you, ask questions, and see if we could come up with a, maybe a happy compromise that might be achieved through just kind of discussions about what can be changed, what might not be able to be changed. So, so sure, I would love to hear everyone's comments, but I, this isn't really a negotiation on the building. It's really an open house to, for you to, to see it. I'm happy to hear your comments and I can respond, but I don't have a deck of cards that we can bargain with or anything. I think it's right, just, right. And you know, houses, it says there's still weeks that they figure out the final design, so he said it wasn't finalized. It's it's not a final design. We're still in construction documents, yes. That's true. So there is an option to tweak the design? I don't know that there is. We're kind of moving down a path towards completion. Right. I guess um, we missed the meeting when you were addressing everybody to ask what everybody liked in a design. When well, was that? All I can say is the process that we followed was not one where that meeting occurred. Okay, so this was just somebody's idea that told you to, we, somebody said I want to hodgepodge it and you put it together, beautifully done, but you put it together without any real input from the community as to what we really want. And the source of the funding is like six million dollars from CDBG block grant funding, which requires community input and participation. Amen. Um, I can't speak to either of the things you just said in, in terms of the process. I know the process that we followed working with the City of Maitland and the library. And I, I like to say that the building is great, but it's not great for Main Street. Amen. I was the county's cultural resource coordinator, so I was in charge of preserving, preserving and managing the historical assets of St. John's County. And I worked with Jenna and the Main Street program to designate historic structures along Main Street to help preserve and restore them and recreate that historical, historical atmosphere that Hastings had at the turn of the century. A year ago, before the contract was awarded, I expressed concerns that the design had to blend in with Hastings' historic built environment in order not to compromise 
the historic district that the Hastings Rotary Club wants to see done and negatively impact um, the Hastings Main Street program. So I am upset that this design has been created without input from the community because it will have been much better to see something that was reflective of Hastings heritage, something that looked closer to the WPA building and the brick vernacular architecture on Main Street. And this is no complaint against you. You've done a great job for what you were hired to do, but I am disappointed in the county for not reaching out to the community here, the Hastings Main Street program, and the Rotary Club who expressed concerns over the design a year ago. And after I had meetings with the Rotary Club, I found myself forced out of office because the county did not like my public interactions because they wanted a building designed without community input. And I like to see a library and community center that is built, that has community input, blends in with the historic built environment and adds to the sense of place that Hastings has as a historical community. Amen. Very well. yes. Amen. Amen. Good job, Trey. I appreciate what you said. Um, I can tell you that we design libraries all over the country uh, and haven't done one yet where 100% of everyone loved it. There's always certain people that are going to say, ah, you know, it's not what, what we wanted. I can tell you, though, that oops, every library we've done is well received by the majority of the people using it. And even when people may not be happy with the way it looks, they still use it because, as I said, the most important part of this is the library for the community and, and using it. And, does it, please? No. Please, there's nobody in this room that is in support of this design. Uh, so that's not true. I, 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 I disagree with that. I Actually, disagree with that. And I, just, not, I just want to add this little part. I do feel like it's going to stick out. It's going to be different. But I feel like our children are going to love it. They're not going to have that historical perspective that we're trying to preserve. So, you know, being a mom of five kids, even though they're kind of aging out, I think it sounds like we're stuck with this, and it sounds like this is the second time the county has said they're going to bring us something, and it gets backdoored, and we don't get any. That's that's a whole other issue. That's not for this gentleman to, to be able to answer. So we need to go to our, our county commissioners and, 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 and say this is not how we want Hastings taken care of. Amen. But I think if we can, if we if we're stuck with a library that's going to do all the wonderful things. We're going to have the historical, we're going to have something modern, and maybe it's going to attract more people to say, oh, okay, I see some different ideas going on in this area. I want to come in and invest in it. It's incumbent upon us to protect the past for the future for our children. Like well, to, say, to say we're going to spend $6 million in grant money that is taxpayer money. Mm. That's right. Okay, that's that right. our money. That's that's right. Right. We, should, I, we should have a little input yeah. on the design. I, I, I agree. Right. Mr. Kennedy has been put in a horrible situation. Yeah. To have yes, stand I here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stand next to you. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let me say one thing, though. On behalf of the people that are pulling this stuff behind the scenes. We don't have our county commissioners here. No. We don't have anybody from the department that's approving this and driving this through. And that, we just, just, right. he he just so, so I want to know what was the budget for this? Okay. What was the? It's what was different the than what that is. I have a restaurant on Main Street where 200 people walk through a day. Not one day has anybody come in and, and pulled any customers and said, "Hey, you know, we're we're thinking about doing some stuff here on Main Street." Hmm. Uh, we're 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 going to spend six or seven million dollars of, of your taxpayer money. So what do you want? Hmm. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. It's time for the county to pay attention to their residents yes. and not a donor class. Hmm. It is time for the county to take their direction from the neighborhood. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And for you to sit back and just make these decisions arbitrarily for us yeah. is wrong. It's crazy. So we're asking we you. 
to speak out, speak up to our commissioners, because apparently they're out of out of okay. touch. Yeah. Okay, she should be here. Miss mm -hmm. Arnold should, she should sure. be here. Sure. That's a joke. Okay, and uh, we're and thankful and to have the investment in the community. Yeah. This is huge. Yeah. We yeah. need it. Yeah. Yeah. But we want to we want to maintain yeah. integrity. Yeah. When we go to get a, a a building permit at the county, we're told yeah. that we have to follow certain, certain things. things. This isn't following those things. No. And if this is built there will be no historic district yeah, as yeah. it stands because it, it affects the integrity of that that um, you know, gathering of historic structures. This should be yeah, a role model. Respect. The, the government respect. should be the role model and a starter <laughs> so when those blank spots start <laughs> filling in, <laughs> but if you put that, they're going to put out anything. They want I, I know, because that's, you know, yeah. as, 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 can we join the this gentleman talk? I, I, I know they're trying to, to build up the historic neighborhood. Again, that was our charge to the architect, and I think he's done a great job. There's a lot of historic, a lot of different architecture styles in this area. We asked them to blend them all together, something that will fit in with Main Street. We Hastings. don't put houses on the side of Main Street in Hastings, Florida. We're a very <laughs> tasteful utilitarian we're not fancy we don't want anything fancy right. but we want something that fits in that's a packing house packing houses are on farms we love them there's nothing more fascinating than a table stock grater but we don't cut it on the side of main street was there a historic preservation architect involved in the creation of the structure sir no no, no. but no. And actually i want to go back to something you said and i think i can help you in the, for the future <laughs> if we had come here and you had a series of historical main street design guidelines formally approved by hastings or uh county. you know the county that's our county and we and that was in place that's different that's well, that, that was my job. That yeah. keep well, uh, all and I'm saying is I got forced week. out for having a meeting with the people here. Well, but mm. here's my, my point, <laughs> and I'm sorry that you were forced out. That's sorry. Now do it. It's not going to change this, but if you feel that strongly about how Main Street ought to be in the future, work with your representatives and, and pass that design guideline package that's usually a part of the zoning code and then from here on in everything else can be the way if, if what those guidelines say it won't work on this one this one is down the road and money is <laughs> burning daily so the sooner this yeah. gets built the better for the community to use it I, I just don't don't think it's gonna stop now and change well, Mr. Kelsey yes. just across the way you told me there was still ability to tweak this and to alter this design somewhat. He's saying it's not going to happen. We're, we're still in design. We haven't started building it yet. There is still design. But as he mentioned... By design, are you talking about paint colors? I know, because we were talking about a whole different shape, you know, changing the gabling of the roof and possibilities just to make it look more like... What we discussed over there was perhaps moving that lower piece of roof up, make it even make it look more like a railroad building. Yeah. Because well, that is the history of Hastings, which yeah. would be cheaper to build and cheaper on maintenance. Right. Can I tell you, in the development review process, this application would, would have come into my office. I will have reviewed it, and I will have looked at the neighboring historic structures to determine if there was any adverse effects. Um, we have multiple significant cultural resources, some of them designated, right next to the structure that would be negatively impacted by this being built, including um, Ms. Uh, Baker Dennis's structures, which she has poured a great deal of money into mm -hmm. to recreate this historic built environment. So it, w it would be um, up to growth management now and, and, um, and the current person in my office to determine where this goes. Let's not treat this like a county back project. Let's treat it like if it was just a regular developer looking to build a building and say, this design is not compatible with the Main Street program area and a future historic district. So one of the things that Hastings Main Street Incorporated, the nonprofit group is working on is an overlay district to address things like this. 
and we are working with Karen Taylor, the land planner, who has graciously volunteered and donated her time, and we're modeling it very similarly to West Augustine's, because I haven't read the whole thing, but my understanding is it was very well done and very well put together. So moving forward, we hope to have guidelines in place to address situations like this. So for community information, I wanted to mention that it is something we're working on. Early on when I was working for the county, they told me that we didn't need a historic district because I was in office. <laughs> so it would be up to me to decide what was appropriate. So it's not appropriate. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> so I want I, I, everyone else to have an opportunity to talk to you, and I know you were trying to get our attention. Did you have something you wanted to share? Well, I'll say a, a couple of things. Um, and we, I Joe, can like, you come back here? Joe, come, come on. out here. Come on, let me hide. Like we got to read a book to get to you. Uh, those, for you for those of you who do not know me, my name is Joseph Count. I am the Assistant Director of Health and Human Services. I do not get involved in building construction or design. Uh, I will just tell you, tell you uh, from a couple of different perspectives about what occurred here. Uh, the first thing is, is that yes, our office originated the grant. Um, we had some interest. Uh, I think it came from the community. These things trickle down to me from a variety of ways. And I start pushing the paperwork. We work with the library folks and we make these things happen for a lack of a better term. <clears throat> uh, in this particular case, I've heard some comments about the historical uh, semblance, if you will, or the facade of the building, <clears throat> and even the um, the historical nature of, of Main Street, which is, believe me, is very important to you, to me too. Uh, I worked for eight years as a land use planner prior to coming to St. Johns County. I've been involved in economic development initiatives. I've been in historical di uh, district initiatives, and I've worked on a variety of different projects from commercial development to public development. Um, right now in Hastings, and this is just my personal opinion, take it for what you will, we have an issue, right? We've got an issue of redevelopment. We want to shoot some blood and inject something into this neighborhood and into this area. To me, this was the first major project that came through our office where we have an opportunity to do that. Um, I agree with a lot of the comments. Not everybody's going to like it. Uh, perhaps we could have taken some more public input. Um, again, right. not, these are not my, my realm, for so to speak, but these are things that I certainly hear what the folks are saying. In this particular case, um, you know, not every building in any historical district has to be historical. Uh, I don't say that from an appearance <coughs> standpoint, but this simply said, we cannot redevelop every building in any historical district, whether it's Hastings, whether it's Orlando, or whether it's anywhere else. We're going to have to do some teardowns. We're going to have to do some things that... Uh, change some facades and we're going to have to make it look different than it does right now. Do we need to keep the historical integrity of Main Street? I think so. I think it's important. Yes. I yes. love it and I think we need to continue to work forward in this. Um, <clears throat> the site was very challenging. There's no doubt about it. Um, again, this is not my ballpark, this is not my area, so we had to make some changes. Uh, what we're seeing here was, is a more urban design. On Main Street you have an urban design. You have all of your buildings up front. You have your parking in the rear. You have people that are able to park on the streets and we're not just addressing parking there on site like you see in so many other suburban developments throughout the county and throughout other places. So we are trying to address some of these things. Did maybe we try to capture too much or try to uh, grab too many things at one time? There's a chance. I, I can't tell you that that, that wasn't the case, but um, we were trying our best and uh, I think it's a little bit disingenuous to think that we didn't think about all these things hmm. and uh, to think that we didn't try to capture them as much as we possibly could because I kind of feel like we did. Um, there's some examples that are here. Again, we're not all going to like the examples. I would argue from a uh, historical standpoint and from a planning standpoint that not all of those buildings are conforming either. So it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough haul. Um, if there's anything that we can do or address any comments or capture anything, <clears throat> excuse me, my mouth is going dry. Um, I'm happy right to... Uh, there's water. water right there, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy and, and as a staff, are going to try to capture those things today and if there's things that we can do there's things that we can do if there's things that we can't do we won't we, we won't do them but I, I promise you we're here to hear you i've got library staff here we've got our architect here we've got some engineering folks here and we're here to take comments but anybody you know, make a decision i'm sorry is there anybody here that can make a decision no no, no. so well, one of the things we've been asked by the commissioners as we've reached out to them one-on-one -on -one 
is mm -hmm. to provide recommendations. So mm -hmm. I know some of mm -hmm. you have a, an artistic and architectural background. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm not even good with stick figures. So if you have recommendations or ideas of how we can change this to fit whatever you feel is better for the community, we've been asked to provide that not only to the architect but also to the commissioner. So I think that would be very helpful. I know, like, yeah, not, well, we're, 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 we're said, giving. Let's not be just how, how hard do you want to so you've had, well, if I can just say one last thing. Our commissioner should have been different Well, our, our commissioner is unfortunately out of pocket today. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't redress that, obviously. But uh, we are trying. You know, I, I applaud the group that's trying to start the Main Street group. Um, I did not even know about the historical overlay. That's awesome. Let's do it. And uh, they're here to take comments and get some feedback. We, we, can, we can all remain in a very negative space right now or we can all choose to provide some positive feedback and that's what we're all here to do. I, I want this to be I want this to be as positive as we possibly can. Um, if you're if we're all not happy, that's one thing, but it's another thing for us to at least try to provide some feedback that will add uh, to some of the so one second please to one of some of the concerns we're trying to address. Get his hand in. <laughs> Go ahead. Get his hand Go ahead, sir. Um, as a little bit of background, <clears throat> I am a 23-year patron of this library, but I'm also a retired scientist and engineer. I don't think I represent the typical customer, but I'm looking at this from a selfish standpoint. I'd like to know more about the design and function of the interior mm -hmm. so I can comment on that yeah. to my league. Yeah. I'm interested in uh, types of collections, the floor area for collections, your Wi-Fi, you brought yeah. up access. Whether it's kids, are they going to have to cross 207A? Apparently not, but questions like that that I know you people have looked at. But if you've got a handout or something for floor plans and some information on. I, I do have a floor plan I can. Yeah, I, I have go it right over here. Oh, okay. When you get a bench cool. meeting, I'd be happy to discuss that. But okay. I, and I'd love and to I just have. run off and answer this gentleman's questions because he'll be very happy with those answers, but I better <laughs> not. <laughs> well, because he'll come after me. But if I could add something. No, I won't. To what I said earlier, and okay, and I'm not backpedaling, but tweaks is a, a, a broadly defined term. And, and I would and love to see whatever you want to send that you think would make this better in your eyes because a good idea is a good idea. It doesn't matter who has it. If there's a great idea and it doesn't involve significantly altering the form follows function part of this design, and by that I mean the interior of the library is set up to work with the exterior, how the light's coming in, where the entrances are, how you uh, access uh, you know, the, the meeting spaces, all of that. That's something that we're you know, pretty, pretty deep into and sorted on, on that. But show me, you know, tell me. I can't sit here today, I know you wish I could, and say, Hey, I like that idea. We're doing that. It's just not, and, and it's not, there is no one person in this team that is charged with giving you this library. It's a lot of people with a lot of thoughts, and yours may not seem like they were heard, but there were a lot of thoughts, and, and a lot, as you said, sort of factored into this. Um, so let's hear, let's see what you have, and maybe there is a simple, some simple things we can do to, to make this more. more I, have a, I have a question, sir. Yeah. So the funding for this uh, project is coming from where? The CDBG, Community Development Block Grant? That's correct. Program? Uh -huh. It is. Right, okay. The first word of that is community. Right. Right? Um, in my opinion, it, it seems like you kind of cut out the community. Uh, input to a certain level. He did. No, no the, the process. The process. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it works for not us. you, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's I'm not saying, I'm, absolutely. It's not I'm, I'm saying the process. Okay. Yeah. okay. Absolutely. And to be fair, so the community needs a library, which is beautiful. I was the county commissioner for this area for a while, um, and I uh, funded this library for a while. I was the one who created the CRAs in St. John's County. There's three of them. Um, I worked with Sally O'Hara on her development of the uh, Volano Beach 
pro projects, right? And now we're fortunate to have her working with Jenna in this, and they're creating the Main Street program as well, which is very, very good. How much, are, how much is this project, the community, this, the, the grant? How much what is the grant? The grant is a, a, a roughly $5 million. Uh, right. There are a couple of other grants that are involved. Right, okay. Um, I think there's a library grant, and I think there's some other funding that will be utilized right. too. So that's a lot of money. It is. That's a lot of money, okay? Um, I think for $5 million plus, you can readdress and sit back with the community and get the first word, Community Development Block Grant, and get input and do a charrette or do another community meeting and at least address the facade along Main Street to something that would be more historical appropriate. And sorry that it might postpone or you have to spend another, um, what, five, oh, wait, 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 another, another $5,000 to come out here and pay for a hotel and a couple of meals and sit with the community. And maybe get some catering from Norma D's, <laughs> and, and and inject some of the money back into the community to support a local business. But again, um, I would suggest, I would, that you take a step back, have a community meeting which hadn't been done, and at least go through that and address maybe the facade of the building that might fit better, but keep the components. Because in my opinion, that design, even though very nice, it almost looks like, and you said it earlier, it might have been a misstatement, you said the Main Street of Maitland earlier. Oh, it was a misstatement. No, I, absolutely. But again, it, it, but it very well could be photoshopped right onto the Main Street of Maitland. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. But again, that's just my two cents. To go back, have a, have a community design meeting, mm -hmm. now with Sally O'Hara, Jenna, all the people who just want to have input. Several. Even have it here, or have it at Normandy's, <laughs> or have it at your place, get some tables and chairs and, and, and everything, and have a design meeting, address the facade, and take a little bit of that $5 million, keep the component, the, the, the whole interior design, which I think is beautiful, of course. And then um, that would be my two cents. Um, going out off of yeah. what Mr. Reardon yeah. just said there, I think that modifying the facade, the exterior fabric a little bit would greatly benefit the community by emphasizing the historic built environment. And actually last night I, I created a little bit of a sketch here um, to kind of demonstrate what I feel would be a more appropriate design or something just to go by. A tower that resembles the old WPA building more an exterior stucco fit finish, keeping the windows in the same place, the same amount of bays, and extending the front exterior wall to create the parapet. That way it creates um, a facade that blends in with the buildings that are existing and used to be there and can draw the focus away from the rest of the building, which is more in the postmodern shed style. And it would blend in at least on the Main Street area. And I just want to build off a of tray real quick. Just one more, one more second, please. Thank you. Trey was a valuable asset to the county. He has a great design. And again, this right here is really the first building in the step of doing this. So I think it's more important to get started on the right foot Again, having another meeting and designing the facade when you're getting five plus million dollars for a building mm -hmm. is really a drop in the bucket. And, and then you're doing it right, you're working with the neighbors and the community, and you're still getting the project done. Yeah. Can I say something? And I do not represent anybody but myself. I used to work for the county. I used to work for the library. Wonderful I was the manager of this branch 15 years ago. I loved it. Um, and I would say you've got a couple of issues happening right now, and I would just encourage you as you move forward to try to keep them separate. Just through my conversations over the years, there's a lot of people who feel left out in this community and, is, and ignored. And there's a lot of reasons that that is based in reality. And I know that you've had some challenges, Mr. Asner, and so forth. And those things are important. 
when you, if there is a meeting that happens to talk about this facade, try to remember it's about that building at that moment. And the bigger issues still need to be addressed and do so. But I would like to ask anybody in here a member of the Friends of the Library? Maybe start there. That's a really good way to stay informed about what's happening with the county and through the government. So 